I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't want to go to work today. Ay, 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 ay. Hello, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old and I work two part-time jobs, three part-time jobs. It depends on how you look at it. I get three paychecks, but I also have a lot of side hustles that I do. One of which is this one here, YouTube, which is what you're watching. Last week, I put out a video talking about how I schedule all of my jobs, my part-time jobs, my side hustles that I do, making sure that I have a social life. And today I want to show you guys a video of basically working a week in the life with me. It is a week. A slight disclaimer is that with all of my jobs, I really don't have a set schedule necessarily. For some of them, there kind of is set schedules, but for everything else, every week, every day really does look different. Nothing is ever really the same, especially in this week that I was filming. I'm currently moving, so I'm not going to be living in San Diego anymore, which is here where I live currently. And so this is kind of like the last week of work that I have here. I also wanted to film this because on the same hand, I always look back in my life and all the other times that I've worked multiple jobs and I've had a bunch of like extracurricular things happening at the same time and I've wondered how in the world did I do it? Like how did I work so many jobs and still have time to have friends? And so this is also not just to show you guys but also to remind me like how I was able to do everything. I'm not saying I am encouraging you to be working as many jobs as I do. I'm not saying I'm encouraging you to even be working a job. Say you're in school, you might not have to, and that's okay. But if you want to, if you're kind of curious about how you can juggle work-life balance while working a lot of jobs because say you need to or you want to, this is just an example of how I do things and how I manage my life. You can do it completely differently and it's fine. Just find what works best for you and make sure that you still are getting sleep, food, health, wealth, all of the above basically. So as I said, I'm not gonna be working at these jobs anymore since I am moving. I have another video, which I'll link somewhere, where you can get more information about why I'm moving and everything that's going on. So I'm gonna be able to tell you guys where I'm working. I currently work at Dave & Buster's in North County of San Diego, and I also work at the Carlsbad Windmill Food Hall. If you don't know what a food hall is, it's basically an upscale food court. The food and everything there is from locally owned restaurants, so it's really nice, it's really good quality really high price too. <laughs> so at Dave & Buster's I am both a server as well as I do an admin position that we call deposits. Basically all the money that comes in from the restaurant and from the front desk, from the bar, from the servers, from the kiosk, from everything comes in together and I count it in the morning starting at 8 a.m. and it's a six hour shift. I have to put everything back where it needs to be, make sure that everyone's getting their tips right. So serving and then deposits that position there. From Dave & Buster's I just get one paycheck. At the Windmill Food Hall, I get two paychecks from there because technically I work for the Windmill Food Hall itself as a busser and I get the least amount of days working there. And then I am also working at a cashier in one of the vendors for one of the food places. Um, it is Dough Balls Pizza. It's really actually super good pizza. So I get paid from both the windmill and Dough Balls. The side hustles that I do, I am a dog sitter. I dog walk. I also do photography graphic design. Um, I didn't have any photography or graphic design to do this week, so there wasn't any of that in that video, but I also do YouTube, so I film stuff and I have to edit it, and just the whole shebang of everything that goes behind YouTube. I'm not making money from YouTube quite yet. I am able to monetize my videos, so that's fun, but I'm not making money yet. So it's not quite a job, it's more of just like a fun hobby. <laughs> so in this video of working a week with me, I started filming on Tuesday and stopped filming on Sunday because I just wasn't working on Monday. So buckle yourselves in for quite the ride and grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have some water. This is a bamboo straw that I bought and I love it, I'm obsessed. And let's just get right into the video. It is definitely gonna be weird for me having to film at work. Um, this is gonna be interesting. Now, typically this shift I would have like one to two times a week. And then after this shift, I would go over to the food hall job and then bus. That's typically how it ended up being recently, the past few months. But like I mentioned before, the food hall job is being a little stingy with the hours. I'm not doing that today. I don't have that double today. And then time that I do bus this week, I am not having this shift beforehand. So the normal double that I had then um, isn't really isn't there. 
yeah just the description of this job seems like it's kind of easy which is not too hard but like when you're training it is kind of difficult but basically i'm here from eight in the morning until two or three just counting all the money and putting money where it needs to be and making sure everything matches up like all the reports to do payroll stuff the whole shebang but today my manager asked me yesterday when i was working the shift and i was here for eight hours yesterday um to stay and work one of those prepaid banquet parties that i've talked about before so you guys will see that that's gonna be the double that i work today here at eight i will probably i don't know how long that party goes until i'm here from eight until like i'll probably get off around like one or two and then that party starts at three from three until seven maybe four like six i don't know how long the party is sometimes they're very long parties and sometimes they only last like two hours so we'll figure that out but for right now i put in all my reports that i made this morning and we are gonna go grab ourselves some coffee so come along with me to go on the dinosaur train <laughs> no come along we're gonna go grab some like really cheap restaurant coffee We got our papers, we got our coffee, we can start the day now. So I'm not gonna show you guys all the little details of the day because this is dealing with like a restaurant's money and everything. So I'm proper there. It's the whole shipping, the whole back end of a restaurant regarding the money. So I'm gonna be here for the next six hours and I'll check in with you guys all later. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so little work intermission here while I do some stuff really quickly so I, I keep my two journals with me and I need to figure out if I can go and film a video today so while I'm, while I'm filming all this I'm supposed to be here until three two or three and then I have that thing right in maybe film I wanted to another grocery shop with me video I also have my other journal here because I'm listening to like podcasts and I listen to like this wedding planner YouTuber as I'm working here because I don't have to like pay attention. I can just kind of listen to it in the background. And so right now I was watching one where she was talking about wedding signs and which ones you actually need. So I'm writing down like while I'm listening, um, any of them that I'll actually need. So yes, just going to get, continue doing all this, continue working, just a little, little detour really quickly i'm also listening currently to the v views views <laughs> not the view i'm listening to views podcast with david dobrik and josh nash because like i'm obsessed and i haven't been listening to them recently so i have like a couple of months worth of podcasts from them to catch up on ah, so it's great it's good times we need to figure that out so i can know if i can leave and film a video for her if not today maybe tomorrow who knows? Okay. Okie dokie, back to work. Okay, back in the office. While I wait on the food to come up, I want to show you guys my favorite part of the day. Um, and this is kind of like one of the ways that I got really into cash envelope stuffing because I would stuff cash into little envelopes for the servers and move all the tips and everything. But this is also how I practice a lot of my handwriting, basically. Okay, yeah. You guys are basically seeing every angle of this office. <laughs> Anyways, how I do this part is we have in our system that I can get into everyone's name who was working the day before, how many hours that they worked, I put it into the spreadsheet, I put in all their hours, and then I count up servers turn in all tip up tip out money at the end of their shift the day before. So I count it all up and put the numbers into the spreadsheet and then that tells me how much each buster gets, each like person each bartender gets, like how much the people who are getting tipped out are getting tipped based on the hours that they worked. Basically, just have a sharpie and then a little envelope. And this is how I practice my handwriting. And then I also just I just go on Pinterest and I look up different lettering, and I'll look up little doodles that I can add onto them. If I really don't have a lot of time, I won't do too much. But it's currently 1:20. My lunch <laughs> should be done pretty soon, so I'm gonna eat and then draw. And best part of the day. Ooh hoo hoo! Yum yum yum! Okay, so this is what the final envelope looks like, all starry night-ish. I have like little UFO stealing away a man trying to go home right now. I'm not going to write the last name on here right now so that way you don't know their last name and someone's trying to come in and buzz in 
to see I'm trying to get in here. But yeah, I'm gonna just write all the other envelopes here for the rest of the bartenders. like that little getting back in my car nice uh transition there i'm a real youtuber now anyways um this is like my third thing of coffee today the vendor guys for a vending machine came in and whenever they come in they're just like hey guys take something free and this is like the first time i actually grabbed something okay so it is currently 2 45 and i need to clock back in in about 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes so i figured during this time i would answer some of the questions since this is a q a thing Normally during this time, if I don't have a job right after this, I'll either stay at work because I would stay in the office where it's nice and quiet and cold and chill and work on some YouTube stuff or work on some designer stuff or photographer stuff, like anything extra. I'm also putting some lotion on right now too because your girl's a little crusty. Now since I'm filming on my phone, I can't like look at my comments to remember what they were. So I do know, I looked at two of them, I'm trying to remember the names of who asked, someone called Shauna. I'm trying to remember who asked which question. Okay, so somebody asked how much I make an hour. Currently when I'm filming this, January of 2020. Minimum wage here in Southern California, at least the part of Southern California that I'm from, um, is $12.50 and it just went up to $13 this month. Yeah, so that's how much I make um, per hour, I know. And a lot of the other states here in the United States, if you're a server, you do not make minimum wage. You make like $2 an hour, which is why tips mean so much to people. So Jennifer asked, since starting to do the cash envelope stuffing method of budgeting, how much money I've been able to save? I discussed this in, I think it was my 2020 financial goals thing, how much I had saved and how much it had dwindled down to. But basically, when I started doing the cash envelope system, kind of was about a year and a half ago, and then I started filming it in August of 2019. Started doing it in November of 2018, and then um, I adjusted it, and then it's been the way that you've been seeing it since August of 2019. So up until October, because I think that's when I had to start dipping into my savings to pay for bills, I had saved about $1,900. So just about $2,000. And if I had it with me, I left it inside the office in my bullet journal in the beginning of the year I was doing really good at just keeping track of how much I was saying saving every month in the beginning of last year basically a year ago in February I had $500 saved I think it was close to 600 so I had about 500 let's say 550 about 550 so I had about $550 saved and then towards the end of the year I had about 2000 and then having to go into my emergency fund to pay for bills happened for the last few months of the year and it went back down to 200. Once again, that's why I was trying to focus on saving money and grow my emergency fund again, not doing the debt snowball and trying to save money on rent by living with family again because I am moving across the country. I mean, you guys all know I am moving across the country in a few months. Even just that drive is gonna cost a lot of money and gas, which is gonna take a lot of that emergency fund. Um, and then also paying bills while I'm not working during that transitional time. So that's why I'm focusing on growing my emergency fund again. So right now, I think it is at $1,200. I think that's right. Now that I've been able to save the 10% of my paychecks that have been coming in, as well as any extra money, and then not having to, as, and then saving the amount of money that I was spending on rent, which was $450. I put that immediately into my savings after the new year. So it went from a little under 300 to a little over 700 with just uh, putting that rent in there, which was really nice. And I'm really happy I was able to do that. But I gotta go back in and clock back in. I'm in here to grab my apron, a little serving bag, which holds my cash and coins. You guys might have seen it in previous videos. And I did not bring the right shoes, but we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. A little name tag my little swags panic at the disco vip let's go baby okay i am now home everyone else in the house is asleep right now so i probably should have filmed this in the car um the time is currently 10 30 but i got off of work around eight o'clock that prepaid booked party was only supposed to be there till five 
but they say that like two hours past their out time. I was there for a while and my manager basically told me to go home because they didn't want to keep me on for over 12 hours. And I'm like, thank you, let me leave. So I've been up since 6.30. I'm basically just going to go ahead and get ready for bed and then go on my computer for a little bit and respond to some comments on my past few videos. I haven't had a chance to do that lately. Um, things have been busy and I haven't had a chance to sit down and respond to comments, but I have read them. I've been able to read them. They come through my email and I read my emails really frequently. So we're gonna do that and yeah, that's gonna be the end of day one of a full work day. Okay, we'll see you guys in the morning. Whoosh. Smooth, right? Okay, so it's now the next day. It is currently like what time is it? Almost 11. I need to run in and clock into my next shift right now. I'm currently at the food hall. I'm working in the vendor right now. It is the pizza place, so I get to make personal pizzas. And it's kind of like you set a register, take an order. It's really easy. I love this job. I really do like making pizzas. It's really fun and it's really casual enough to where I don't have to deal with annoying customers <laughs> too much. So it's pretty nice. Um, I do have to run in and go and clock in really soon here. This is the job that I was talking about where the manager is being a little petty with the hours and with the shift like I work with him It's just me and him and the vendor so I might not be showing too much I'll try to like sneak some clips in when he's not there because it might be a little awkward if he's like you have a YouTube channel And then if he goes and sees my YouTube channel where I'm like he's being petty with the hours Okay, bye-bye It's a pretty small kitchen and it's usually we have one person in here and then one person up at the front and talking to the customers and getting their orders and one person back here making I like to have five prepped in case a little rush comes and here's somebody at the front waiting to order. Yeah. Okay, I can't vlog at work. This is weird. Okay. I'm gonna start uh, doing stuff. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Boba! <laughs> Happy hour, Boba. So it was only $3. So currently, the time is now 3.30. My boss let me go home early because one, it was so, so slow. I cleaned up and stocked everything. like. There was nothing for me to do. I was just gonna be wasting time. I really do like my boss as much as I talk about how like he's being petty and not giving me hours. Like I really do like him. He's a really nice guy. I can just tell that he's a little upset that he has to basically replace me because I'm just so good <laughs> at my job. So right now, what I could be doing since it's Wednesday is I could have possibly picked up a shift over at Dave and Buster's tonight. Worked a shift, closed, that would be the double. I would basically come from here, go straight to Dave and Buster's. During the time, the little Time in between shifts, I would usually grab coffee or a boba, a little something to drink, keep the spirits up. Um, most of the time, I will just be on my computer doing more YouTube stuff, responding to comments, editing. Um, I basically spent the last 30 minutes of my shift today responding to YouTube comments. So, so I am not doing that. I am not picking up a shift at Dave & Buster's today because I forgot to tell you guys yesterday. But while I was doing that deposits, it's called deposits, but that deposits admin shift yesterday, a dog owner on Rover contacted me asking me to dog sit this weekend, which was really interesting because literally like a few days ago, I was thinking, should I just deactivate my Rover account since I'm moving around and I know people like to book out a while in advance and I hadn't gotten any hits for January as much as I thought I might have. So I was like, I'll just deactivate it. And then suddenly somebody contacted me. I am going from here down to San Diego so I can meet that dog owner. But that meeting isn't until 5.30, so I have a couple of hours to spare. I might go home and change my shirt. <laughs> Cause right now my shirt, let me show you guys. You guys haven't caught a glimpse already. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna go home and change um, because after this dog meeting, I'm gonna go and hang out with Brian's mom. I'm gonna go over to her house because the the houses are in like a five minute difference from each other. So yeah, come along with me on the dinosaur train. We're gonna go home. <laughs> yeah, let me bring some light into the situation. Let's shed some light into the situation. Oh, it's blinding. Okay, so I'm back in my room. I'm gonna answer some questions. I'm probably just gonna answer one question because I have about 20 minutes until I need to uh, head over to the dog house. So these questions are more along the lines of the wedding planning and the move out to Nashville. For those of you who don't know, um, currently living in San Diego. I think I've mentioned that, obviously. Currently I live in San Diego. My fiance lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm gonna be moving out there after we get married. So first, Angelica Martinez was asking, do I already have jobs lined up where I'm moving? and asked how the wedding planning is going. Wedding planning is going okay. <laughs> I just got a day of coordinator, just hired one. Um, so she's gonna be there the day of, so that way I'm not fully stressing over everything since I don't have a wedding planner throughout the entire wedding planning process. Basically in a fit of being overwhelmed, I wrote down everything and lined it all up to kind of put month to month like what needs to be done. And I made sure that I had like to-do lists of things I need to check off for each month made sure that things were done, was like, this needs to be done by the end of this month. So if I look at like big picture, everything that's going on, I get really overwhelmed and kind of a little stressed, but when I break it up and I kind of focus on the little tasks one by one, then it's a lot easier for me to handle. That's how wedding planning is going. Currently, I do not have a job set up in Nashville. I'm probably gonna be going for a like coffee shop or a bookstore job, something that's more in the morning, something that's definitely part-time because I am gonna be focusing a lot more on building the freelance work of making sure I can do photography and graphic design and YouTube and all this other stuff. There's a lot of things that I wanna do that don't involve me being in a physical place, clocking in and clocking out. Like I wanna build my own business, essentially. Donna Galvin, she is great, she's kind, she's so nice. Um, Donna Galvin asked if I'm looking for a place when I get to Nashville or does Brian already have a place? Um, and then asked if it's going to be hard on my marriage having him gone a lot. So he already lives out there. Currently, this is actually something that just happened. Currently, he is renting a room out of an apartment with a friend of his out in Nashville. So he actually just was trying to figure out the timing of everything because he is going to be so stressed. He had the entire basically year long plan like of what his schedule is going to look like for the rest of the year. And he was like, I'm not going to have time to go and look for apartments until September. So either you're living here in this apartment with other people who are not me until September, or we're gonna have to move into some really janky place. I don't know Nashville enough to really know their housing market well. Like here in San Diego, like I can find an apartment well enough for myself. Like I know the areas. So I can gauge like, what is the ridiculous amount for a place to be costing in certain areas of San Diego? Like I know what I should be looking for, like what's reasonable. In Nashville, I don't. So if I was doing it all by myself, being brand new to that city, I would probably end up choosing a place that's not well fitted for us. We're not going for anything bougie or like a high class apartment or house or anything. So he's actually in the process of finding a place. So when I go out to Nashville here in a couple weeks to go and visit him, I'll take you guys with me if we could do it. Like if we can, if we can bring you guys along, but make a little vlog of it. But we're gonna go check out this one apartment that he's been looking at because he's gonna move into it most likely he's gonna most likely move into this place in february and then i'll be sliding myself in when i move out there after we get married and then is it gonna be hard on my marriage having him gone a lot um i think what's gonna be hard is not knowing anybody out in nashville and not having things to do i am so used to our relationship being long distance right now as it is that him not being here like not physically being here and being gone for months at a time like it's hard but it's not like devastating like i can do it like i know i can do it but here in san diego i have you know the three jobs that keep me busy i have all these little tasks i have youtube now to keep me busy i have like side hustles and all these things to keep me busy if i have none of that then i have friends that i can hang out with and like easily call up and go hang out with people just things to do and ways to not be lonely but out in nashville like i'm not gonna know anybody so that's gonna be a little rough um definitely that's gonna be definitely really rough and like missing my friends out here and not being able to talk with them and just hang out with them whenever it's gonna be a little hard but mostly out of the whole me being a lonely thing and not so much out of the whole like him being gone because that is, that's like I'm already kind of used to it. If he's gonna be gone for two months and I'm not gonna see him, then 
and that's gonna be when it gets rough and I'm gonna be like I need to fly out and see you when it's an off time like we I need to see him and that's gonna be the part that gets a little rough like, it is a lot easier having cell phones being able to be in a long distance relationship because we can FaceTime we can call we can text all day like okay so I'm gonna go and head over to the dog place now and uh, yeah I will just see you guys tomorrow bye good morning it is now Thursday the 23rd what is this anyways so I just got to the dog house so I'm gonna go and walk the doggos I'm gonna introduce you guys to the dogs because they are so cute they were huge and fluffy and oh my god dream dogs hello hi guys hi Bonzo hello <laughs> taco hi hello bud oh you're all over my face and then out of these big boys, Moonsight! Hi! You know that picture of Daniel Radcliffe with all the dogs? That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. Hi, buddy! <laughs> and got myself some chicken nuggets. Don't judge me. I stopped by McDonald's on the way here because chicken nuggets and their McDonald's fries and a McFrappe sounds amazing gonna answer one of the questions that somebody asked on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do that because sometimes I get questions from there which I say sometimes but this is my first time doing it so this is actually from my friend Nate so he asked me um, with working all these three jobs and being so busy like how do I make time for friendships relationships having a social life time with God and my mental health and I was like that's a good question. Basically, like I will show you guys, hopefully I will already have a video um, out that I'm gonna be filming today talking about how I lay out my week and do the organization part of it. But I focus a lot on making sure my time is organized and prioritized. So when it comes to a social life and friendships, I really do only hang out with Grace and Lisa, my other bridesmaid, when she's in town, like we have to make sure that we make time for each other, we'll ask each other when we're free. Even ever since high school, I've always kind of been bad with hanging out with people outside of like work or school. So I'm just so used to being at home, and not hanging out with people. So now that I'm an adult, I hang out with people at work, when I'm at work and things like that. Like I have to put in like a lot of effort just for me personally to hang out with somebody new outside of work. I have done that a few times and it's been fun, but ooh, that's a burp. But yeah, that's just in general. Like it has nothing to do really with me being so busy with work and everything. I just am bad at hanging out with people. <laughs> like Grace, on the other hand, she has the two jobs for herself and she is social like she's very used to like hanging out with people asking people to hang out going out with people i'm not used to it so i'm just really used to just like staying at home or busying myself with work so that is something that i need to get more used to doing it's definitely as i mentioned earlier going to be difficult when i move to nashville and i'm not knowing anybody and i don't have grace to like automatically hang out with so i'm gonna have to actually practice making friends <laughs> how i find time for God, that is definitely an issue that I've been having the past, I wouldn't say year, um, since I started working at the food hall with my availability really just falling where I have church available. So that's why I had mentioned before that I wanted to start doing kind of like a Bible study through my channel, not only to help like you guys find a community of people that you can connect with, but also me to find a community of people that I can connect with, but also keep me kind of accountable when it comes to like spending time with God, because that's definitely something that I've always kind of had an issue with. Like I've always kind of relied on going to a small group, going to church, going to a college group. Like it's always, I've relied on going somewhere to find like my connection with God and going to church. I, would, I could definitely like have a video and do like my whole little testimony and everything. There was a point of time when like I didn't need to go somewhere to find God but I recently like that has kind of wavered a little bit so um, that's definitely something that I need to work on much more like I think everyone feels like they need to work on that more but like it's just something that I need to prioritize more basically and then how I find time to work on my mental health that comes a lot with making sure I know my priorities and I set together my organization like for example my money and everything I used to get so anxious over money like I have a lot of money anxiety and so starting this YouTube channel where I am 
keeping myself accountable and actually fulfilling doing my budgeting and everything on a weekly basis that's helped me so much like calm my state of mind about that and then also having my bullet journal where i'm really writing down everything and putting things and where they need to be that has helped so much keeping me kind of sane when there's so much going on um being able to write everything down and visually see it and know what's coming know my to do's that are coming up know what i need to fulfill especially with this wedding planning and everything like basically just staying organized and putting everything into do list and kind of not if i look at everything in the big picture then that's when i go kind of crazy and i'm like oh my gosh there's so much but if i really focus in on like little individual things at a time like personally for me that helps me so that's kind of how I keep my mental health with everything is being like knowing what's coming up and knowing like what I need to do and knowing how to do it. Yeah, so that's the, that's those answers. Um, I'm gonna eat my chicken nuggets and I will see you guys when I start to head off to work. I'm busing today. Ooh, actually, no, I'm gonna film something before I go off to work. So I will show you guys how I do that since I am in a dog house right now. So that means I need to figure out how I'm gonna set up my camera and set everything up. So that's gonna take a little bit of a while. Yeah, okay, so I'll see you guys later, bye, bye Okay, so I have my makeup box and my camera bag. Bag. They, uh, they have this little stroll. So maybe I do some stacking. Okay, so I brought over one of those chairs that they had over there, put my box on top of it, then my camera, and I think I adjusted the focus well enough. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready to film a video. Yeah. Okay, so the time is currently 12.45. I'm really hoping that I finish filming this before 1.30. Um, there really was not a lot of setup before this, even though I feel like there should have been. Like, I was sort of prepped for this video a little bit more, but it was like a last minute idea since I couldn't film the grocery shopping video. Anyways, so I'm all mic'd up, I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start filming. I'm hoping I have enough time because I still wanna walk these big dogs. Um, give them like a 45 minute walk, a 40 minute walk, something like that. A little over 30 minute walk before I go to work because um, I have work at four. So if I finish around 1.30, go give them a walk. Should be done a little after two, give them a walk, put them all away. Make sure that they have enough water and everything, and then I should have plenty of time to go up to work, maybe upload the footage onto my cam camera and computer, and maybe have a little bit of time to edit a little bit. Who knows? I don't know. But let's just start filming. Let's stop rambling and start filming. Whew. Okay, I just finished filming, and it is 1.25, so I did great with timing. Um, This is the aftermath of everything, of me trying to film this, this video, kind of like winging the video not fully know what i'm talking about while i'm just talking but okay so i'm gonna kind of put everything away clean it up go walk the doggos on another long walk um try to do like a longer walk to get some of their energy out before i go off to work and then we're gonna work okay yeah uh hopefully also i do want boba they have boba at the food hall Ooh, i didn't get to show you guys yesterday the food hall so i'll give you guys a little tour around the food hall too in case you guys live in san diego and you guys want to go check it out it's really cute. Like, you guys totally can. It's really great. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. Okay, so you got your inspirational art everywhere. Go inside. Your hair is so cute. I love it. Okay, you got a bar right there. I'm just seeing places. There's my dough balls. It's inside of a, a shipping container. That's my boss. Hi, Andrew. Say hi. Showing everything. Some authentic Thai stuff. This is where I get my boba. These are my boys over at Bread and Cheese. Hi. I'm probably going to go and work in that corner over there because they got a, a computer plugin. I'm doing a little tour of the place. I can't, I'm just oh, like a YouTuber. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> this is like some interesting stuff. Some really good food. Cross Street has some bomb, <laughs> bomb fried chicken. <laughs> fried pigs over there. 
the tourists. They have some really good sliders. Hi. We have all the food. Some more seating areas. This is called the library. Pokey place. This place is gonna open soon. Yeah. Okay, so I'm hiding in the back little loading dock area right now. Just, well, it's slow. Just like I say, like this is the only job busting here. Well, you will see me a little bit upset. Like I'll walk around like not smiling, like full on RBF because it's so frustrating. It's like you're sitting right next to a trash can Throw your trash away. Like that's it. That's basically it. Like my entire night revolved around me being like, I'm on the table. You left your trash on the table? There's a trash can right there. <laughs> like that's that's basically it. But other than that, it's really fun. It's nice. It's like not a hard job at all, really, but it's just that frustration. Okay, we're gonna go back to work. He's using his phone. Look. Nah, I look so crusty. Like, it looks like your mole is on my lip. On YouTube. <laughs> Why? Grace and I work together at both of our jobs, but we usually never have the same trip together except for this one, even though there are different apartments. But this one, Thursdays, we both work. We usually work at like Game of in the morning and then uh, the windmill. Good and night. Tuesdays. And Tuesdays. 38. So is that 38 or 11? Friday, um, so do you like the little transition with the sky? I liked it. So last night, I saw my boss from the pizza place because he was there, obviously. He basically asked me if I could come in this morning and work because the guy who was initially supposed to work this morning called out because he asked me. All right, there's people walking this way. So yeah, he called out this morning, and so now they need somebody to cover and work this morning. So I need to go in at 11. The time is currently 8:30. I woke up a little over an hour ago and I've been editing since then. So basically what I need to do is I need to finish walking these dogs, give them a nice really long walk so that way they're nice and tired today. Go back to my place because I did not remember to bring work clothes for, you know, serving and everything. I have just I basically brought like sleeping clothes for tonight. I didn't think that I'd be going straight to work so I thought I'd have more time. Um, and then hopefully I get to the one real bit early so that way I can finish editing and then upload because they have some pretty good Wi-Fi. So I'll get out of dough balls around four. Hopefully I can really try to get out maybe at least like the very least 15 minutes earlier. Um, and then drive back down here to the doggos, give them another little walk, feed them, and then go back up to Carlsbad by 5.30. That's when my shift serving there starts, and it's a closing shift. I want to make sure that the dogs have food and some more energy taken out of them before, because I'm not going to be home until like midnight. Whew, awesome! Wow, that was a bright light. So it was really dead slow, so I am going home to go back to the doggos, let them out. Here comes the light! So, I edited quite a bit before I got to work, did like 30 minutes of editing, and then I'm gonna go walk some dogs, feed them, finish editing, yes, and then I'll see you guys at Dave Busters. So once again, I'm heading in the back. It is midnight. I thought I was gonna be getting out of here around 10, 11 maybe, but then a group of 30 people came in at like 11 o'clock and they needed to sit and the only section open was in my section. And their tab is almost at $700 now, so let's hope they tip, let's hope they tip. Okay, um, I don't know what the last thing was that I filmed, but it is Saturday right now. Uh, the time is currently 2.30. I haven't filmed anything today, I don't think so. Basically, this morning, I slept in a little bit until like 10.30 because I was just so tired and I didn't make plans for this morning. So it ended up being okay. I was not too rushed about anything. I walked the dogs, fed them, 
Um, they were good, so then I went back to bed. And now I'm just editing that video that you guys saw me film a couple days ago. I was really hoping that I was gonna be able to get it up yesterday, but you saw yesterday, it was too busy. I only had like 30 minutes to edit yesterday, the entire day, it was rough. So I'm just putting the music on to this last video right now. It's gonna hopefully go up today. And then I'm going to go ahead and film my cash envelope stuffing. And then after that, go straight to work, basically. Maybe. I'm doing laundry too because I need work clothes. Hopefully I'm not at work until forever tonight. Uh, fingers crossed. Somebody asked once uh, what I use to edit and I just use Premiere Pro. It's just an Adobe product. I, had, I think I have the Adobe Creative Cloud, like their entire creative suite. I have like a lot of the things that I use there. I use a lot of it quite often. So yeah, this is what I use for my video editing. Ta-da. It's pretty great. A lot of cuts. <laughs> a lot of cuts down there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I can show you guys how I try to set up for filming these videos, my cash envelope videos. Um, it was really nothing fancy. It's the boxes. Okay, let me see if I can put my phone down somewhere. All right, so basically every time I try to film something, I'm basically always trying to just kind of figure out how to set things up so that way I can actually film something. Okay. Wow, this lighting is crazy. Look at my eyebrows. So this is just a dresser that she already has in front of her window. I have my selfie stick that I got as a gag gift a couple years ago for I don't remember what. So basically what I do is I put my phone in here, put this on top of here, and grab a really heavy blanket to put on top there. And then you can see it right underneath. Do my camera that I use. It's a Canon um, 5D Mark II, so they use photography and any shots that you see of my face because it's just good quality. Yeah, I'm gonna start filming because it is, what time is it? Almost 3.30, so I have about an hour to film before I should probably get dressed and get ready to head off to work because I work at six. Literally, me just stacking things. So this camera is eyesight with me. Good morning. So I realized I don't, I don't think I filmed anything else last night. Um, I basically had like five minutes, 10 minutes, but as soon as I walked into my job to like do everything on the computer here before my actual shift started. And then I was there until like 1 a.m. last night. So right now I'm just editing my cash envelope video that I filmed yesterday. And then I have some coffee and a chocolate muffin. And it's over here, it's right here. And then I just have errands to run today. I have to drop off. I have to go to the ATM, put all the money away in, so that way I can pay some bills. Um, I left my camera battery charger at the doghouse, so I'm gonna have to go and grab that. Hopefully be able to hang out with Grace and grab some food before our shifts start, because we work at the two separate jobs today, so we'll hopefully see each other. Um, she told me that I have to go and pick up a check. Like that is how the the boss over there is now paying. He's not doing the direct deposit anymore, so I have to go and actually physically go pick up the check. So we'll go and do that. And I need to ask them how they're doing the W-2s, if they're just mailing them in, or if uh, it's digital, or if I could pick it up inside, because I want to be able to set my taxes. And then I just served tonight, so I think that's it. I think that's all I'm doing today. I say that's all I'm doing today, like it's not like a bunch of things, but yeah, currently it's 11 o'clock and I have work at five, I think. So I have six hours to do um, a bunch of things. So let's hope I could do it. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later, bye. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the vlog. I hope you guys are still awake. If you stuck around to the end of it, congratulations, you did great. Thanks for sticking around. If you work multiple jobs, let me know down in the comments how you manage your work week because sometimes life gets crazy and then you have to try to rearrange things and make things work. I'm currently filming this intro and outro the following Wednesday, so basically the last Wednesday of the month. This is definitely a bittersweet moment for me. I don't know why I couldn't remember that word last time while I was trying to describe my situation. Yesterday was Dave & Buster's or anniversary kind of party that we do every year. And so I was able to see all my coworkers and really just say bye to them for the last time and hang out with them. I didn't want to just announce to everybody that it's my last week here and none of you guys are going to see me again. I was able to hang out with everybody and it was definitely extremely bittersweet being able to really hug everybody and just kind of realize how much I love the places that I work. 
So this video was long enough. I'm not going to keep rambling here in the outro, but I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me conquer the human race, go ahead and subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media at Quinn Kalen. We can chat, DM, we can become best friends. Um, if you send me a picture of your dog, I think I'm going to start doing a thing. Somebody suggested it of doing a dog of the week thing for all of my cash envelope videos because you know life is hard work is stressful money is stressful it pets yay so send me pictures of your dogs your cats your ferrets i still have not received a picture of anyone's ferret so i really want to see that so please just tell your pets i said hi hello hi i love and appreciate you guys oh so very much and i will see you in my next video bye